Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Uh, I've been working with them for the past six, seven months now, and uh, you guys have been a great supporter. Can please continue to do that. Today's video is me talking about one of my favorite lures for fall fishing. Um, we've got actually quite a bit of warm front coming through in October here, but once these cool fronts make these water temps drop into the 50s, in the low 60s even, this lipless crankbait, it's gonna be your ticket to catching a ton of fish this fall. In my last video for the Tackle Box subscription, I wanna clarify a few things. First off, if you haven't signed up yet, you can sign up for $1 for your first month and you will get the lure that you see in this video for your first month Tackle Box. You're also gonna get uh, some cool uh, digital products that they come with the Tackle Box system. The second month that you're signed up, there's a random assortment of lures from this lure chart here. Um, there's spoons, there's jigs, hair jigs, uh, some plastics, jerk baits, and tons, tons of different baits. Um, and it's gonna be a random assortment each month. Now this is a fairly new company that I'm starting to work with. And I think we're hoping eventually what is gonna happen is I kind of build a tackle box for you in these videos. Uh, eventually you're gonna be getting kind of a seasonal package of what these lures are that I pick for the season. So for the fall season, I like my double jig setups, lipless crankbaits, which you're gonna see in this video, some jigging wraps, maybe even jigging spoons. Um, and I think eventually down the road, not this year, but down the road, you're probably going to see lures like this in your tackle box based on the season that we're in. Um, that's kind of, I'm working with a brand new company, so we're trying to work out some of these details. So let's talk about lipless crankbaits. Lipless crankbaits, you can fish them in a variety of different ways. You can cast them out, kind of, yo kind of rip them, jig them back to the boat. Walleye guys love these, mostly for the springtime, but even now in the fall when these walleye push shallow, could be a really good bait for you but for crappie fishing when we get out to this deeper water these crappies suspend in that hard to soft bottom transition the river that i'm on today these crappie are actually probably going to be somewhere between 15 to 25 feet it depends how much current is in the area on these river systems if there's a lot of current that's pushing oxygen and bait fish these crappie can can stay as shallow as they want as long as there's oxygen and bait fish in that area um, but typically on our natural lakes, crappie will push out to that 20, 25 foot range. That seems to be where that hard to soft bottom transition is. And that hard to soft bottom transition is sand, gravel, rock, transitioning into mud, muck, or silt. And these crappie will sit on that edge because one, there's probably insect larvae in the soft bottom. So if the, you see crappie on the sonar, it, lower to the water column, they're probably feeding on insect larvae, but if they're suspended up off the bottom, they're probably feeding on some sort of bait fish, which is what we're trying to mimic in these lipless crankbaits. You can cast these out, rip them back to the boat, and you can cover a ton of water, but also you can vertically jig these and just have a small little rocking approach, super subtle bites to create a super subtle uh, reaction bite. But when they do bite it in this fall, as you're gonna see coming up, they absolutely hammer it. Okay, well, as you can see, we found our pile of fish. We're gonna bump up to them a little bit here. And I know I'm in barefoot and uh, it looks pretty warm out because it is pretty warm out. This is like a cool summer day, not a mid-October day. There they are. On a, I have no idea what that is. It's some sort of piece of, could be timber, could be rocks, concrete, I'm not really sure. All right, well, because we're going a little deeper water, we're going to go with the 1 8th vape bluegill. They're just so, they're stacked. I mean, they are stacked. There's got to be a crop or two on that thing mixed in. I mean, I guarantee it's like shiners and bluegill, and but there's got to be a crop or two. I'm just barely tapping it, just giving it a little making it kind of rock back and forth instead of ripping it. I don't think they really want it. Ripped up the water column. There's one. That's a crappie, it's a good one. And it is a good, holy smokes, it's a tank. That is an absolute tank of a crappie for this river. I saw him just shoot off that bottom of that brush pile. That is, that's potentially a 12 inch crappie. This is the time of year you can use super aggressive baits to catch absolute tanks like this. He, look at that, he, he T-boned out. Absolutely T-boned that lure. This is why I love 
You can fish fast with this. Cover a lot of water when these crappie push off to that hard to soft bottom transition. They're really not holding to much. Right now they're holding to something because their water temps are 64. So they're kind of still late summer pattern. That is an absolute giant. We're gonna get him on the bump board here. Real quick. And then I think I'm gonna let him go. I'm not gonna keep anything today. I wasn't gonna keep this guy anyway, but ooh. this guy's an absolute tank. Holy smokes, he's almost 13. He's 12 and three quarter. Look at that. Absolute, there's 12, there's 13, he's 12 and three quarter. It's almost 13 inch crappie right there. That is a trophy up north, Wisconsin, Minnesota crappie. See you, bud. Damn it. And I just ruined my GoPro. That's a good way to, god dang it, I forgot, I forgot to put the cover on the side. Oh, just having a fantastic day. Forgot to put the plug in the boat. I got a remote drain plug, so I just had to flick the switch, forgot to do that. Thought it was funny, I couldn't get up on plane. You can see the water on the bottom of the boat here. Everything was flooded. Uh, my normal GoPro that I use for this, which is another Hero 7, uh, crapped out on me earlier today and now I did something stupid like that I thought I'd have it in the waterproof case stupid all right we're down to just you Let's see if we can catch a few more fish well actually I figured I actually found uh, this is an older hero 4 that I had just happened to be in my backpack so we got another b-roll camera oh my god this is like the sh Freaking kidding me. Is that gonna fit back on there? Yeah, it did. Okay. I don't know what today today sucks. I've destroyed two cameras. I've almost sunk my boat. And uh whew. It's alright, we just caught a tank of a crappie, so hull's not terrible. Could be worse, the fish could not be biting. Alright, let's get back up here. Man, that thing just hammered it. Hammered it, just T-boned it. That's what you want to see. Like the one, okay, this one's gonna drop right into something. I think that's another big crappie. Dropping down at about that 20 foot out mark. Oh, oh there's one, got one. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a crappie though. Yes it is, oh my goodness, it's another good one too. It's not as big as the last one, but this guy choked it. Look at, look how he, he ate this thing. Absolutely choked it. Look at that. Just devoured it. This is a solid crappie. God, the fat too. All is not lost today. Despite wrecking about $400 worth of cameras, all is not lost. That is a solid fish. What do we got? 10 and a quarter. He's a fat 10 and a quarter, too. There's 10 right there. 10 and a quarter. Sorry, bud. You're going with you're going home with me. If I get anything out of this day, it's going to be a, a meal. At the very least. So we can get another one here. And I'm just barely just twitching the tip. Letting it vibrate. You're going to feel these these baits vibrate, and that's that reaction strike you want. Oh, there was a tap, and I missed them. Actually, what is that below the boat? You see those marks? Those aren't crappie, but I do want to... Those might be walleye. Let's see if we can get a couple walleye here just for fun. Just for fun. God dang, what are those things? Oh! 
whatever it is, it's a hit like a hammer. Holy smokes. It's either a big walleye or that's a small mouth. Oh my goodness, that thing hit like a... <laughs> or it's a drum. Dang it. Got all excited for nothing. Got all excited for nothing. Thing hit like a ton of bricks. Uh, let's get the players out. Where are the players? There they are. Hit like a ton of bricks. See you, buddy. Okay, well, those were uh, some sheep's head. Let's try not to catch those. Let's go with some crappie. I'm gonna have to go buy a bag of rice when I get home. I got two GoPros to put in it. There's one. I don't know if he's that big. Oh my goodness, it's a little rock bass. Catching the whole food chain down there. Drum, crappie, rock bass. Pretty sure there's gonna be some smallmouth and some walleye. Well, walleye actually might be pretty shallow this time of year. There's one. That's a good one too, whatever that is. That thumped it hard. Oh my goodness. This is a crappie, it's another big one. Oh, it's, just, it's a good one. I mean, these, these things are fat. Man, these, these river crappie, they get so fat because there's so much food in this system. And they, in the fall, they just feed up. That's another solid, solid fish. I mean, he's almost 11. He's barely under 11 right there. He's coming home with me. I'm gonna fry him up. I'm gonna fry him up. He made the lethal mistake of hitting that lipless. So I'm gonna get another one here real quick. They are, it's no doubt. Like I just kind of rip it up the water column, feel that vibrate of the rod tip, set it back down and then thump. Every single one of them. It's been no doubt. It's not like a tap. It's a thump. These fish are these fish are wound up this evening. I love it. There's one. That's a little guy. Oh, it's another rock bass. That makes sense. Those lighter taps, both of them have been rock bass. Those heavy thumps have been those crappie. The big ones. Or something. Feels a little bit better. Oh, it's a white crappie. Holy smokes. Don't catch these very often. Not up north. These are a bit of a rarity, but they are found in this river system. I've yet to catch a really big one. I'm not really sure why, but probably because there's not many of them. So the odds of there being a huge white crappie, pretty rare this far north. But as you can see, they got the bars. That is a white crappie. Pretty cool looking. They also got the little black speck right there. Pretty cool looking fish. See you, bud. Come on, fellas. Somebody smack it. There he is. Got him. Oh, oh, digging. I don't know what you are, bud, but you are digging. And it's another sheep head. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I gotta get these cameras on rice. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for the lipless crankbaits. Yeah, it was a little bit of a rough one. Um, definitely got overexcited about that huge fish. Put that GoPro in the water. Um, that GoPro, actually, I got it out of rice. I'm filming this the, the very next day and I, I put it in rice overnight. It's back to normal. Unfortunately, my other GoPro, my Hero 7, uh, still not working, so. It was a rough day for, for GoPro cameras, but appreciate you watching as always, and be sure to click the link in the video description to get yourself this lipless crankbait. This is an eighth ounce Z-Viber, 
and uh, I'm going to be using this a ton this fall once these crappies slide out to their deeper transitions. It's, it's actually mid-October right now. I don't know if you can see a lot of really nice color behind me with these, uh, these leaves are changing, but it's, it's still warm. I think water temps, I'm kind of in this little back cove and it's 65 degree water temps mid-October. Uh, typically, they're definitely in the low 60s, if not the 50s by usually by now up here up north in Wisconsin, Minnesota. But um, this water temp is going to drop quick. And when it does, the bite's really going to turn on. Actually, it turned on yesterday, but it's really going to turn on. And this is going to be one of my go-to setups I'm going to have tied on at all times in the boat. So um, seven and a half foot ACC. I got 10 pound braid to a six pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's tied directly to the lipless crankbait. So again, click the link, top of the description. Get yours for just $1 for your first month of the Two More Casts Tackle Box subscription. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions about the setup or how I fish this, post it in the comment section below. Or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this fall. Catch a crappie.